Four cloud services, databases, developer tools, and workflow orchestration products are being rebuilt uh, and extended to include deeply integrated AI capabilities by default. And industry analysts now classify generative AI cloud or AI platforms as distinct competitive categories, evaluating hyperscalers primarily on their AI offerings. Now, if you look at the hyperscalers that are being criticized or being complimented out there, normally it's around the majority of their AI features and not looking at their ability to do cloud storage and cloud compute systems, the ability to provide uh, quality compute systems on demand. It's how they're chasing uh, the AI trend. And obviously, you know, AWS got some uh, um, criticism a few years ago for being behind. And obviously, they're trying to catch up and reInvent was all about AI, things like that. So it's going to be their primary focus for a while. So instead of selling uh, generic compute and storage, cloud providers are racing to become AI platforms with GPUs, proprietary models, vector databases, and end-to-end -end machine learning ops built in. So this is undeniable. Um, it's obviously so obvious. I didn't know why, why I even needed to, you know, state it again. But the evidence is there that the focus is clearly on AI. Why, in some instances, I'm not knocking AI. That's going to be a good trend because many organizations are truly looking to use AI as a force multiplier and typically using cloud providers as the platform of choice to leverage these new AI systems. The problem is the majority of enterprises out there may not be on to AI yet, and it may be a few years, many years in some instances, before they're gonna be able to afford it. Now, what's happening now is that their infrastructure is changing beneath them. So in other words, they're leveraging storage, they're leveraging compute services, things like that. Those are becoming AI enabled, or basically the features are turning, to, turning into AI enabled systems, which is not necessarily gonna benefit them. And if they use those systems, which in some cases are gonna be forced to use those systems, those native systems, they're gonna be locked into that cloud provider even more.